In this video, I'm going to be making an electronics project with the Arduino, a crystal ball. Beware, I am an electronics noob. Do not use this as a tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so as I said, we are going to be building an Arduino crystal ball. So I have here my Arduino book, and we're just going to see how we put this circuit together. So on the left of the page, we can see we need a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a 220 ohm resistor, as well as a potentiometer, a tilt sensor, and an LCD screen. So now we are going to start following the instructions to put the circuit together. So firstly, we're going to connect the power and ground to one side of our breadboard. So we're going to need a red and black jumper wire. You could use any color, but we're going to use the long cables supplied with the jumper wires box. And take out our cables. So we're gonna plug our power in on this side of our breadboard and we're going to plug our ground in as well to the ground rail and then we're going to connect them to the 5 volt and ground terminals. Okay, so there they are, all connected up to our Arduino. So we're going to get our tilt switch from our electronic components box. And I'm going to find it in here, see where it is. And here it is, the tilt switch. switch so we are going to then put that on our breadboard and we're going to connect one side to the 5 volt rail so I'll use a little jumper for this And then we're going to connect the other side, once it's back in, to ground through a 10 kilo ohm resistor first. So we are going to grab a 10 kilo ohm resistor, which will be striped gold, orange, black, purple. So we're going to get our bundle of resistors and find it. So here the resistor is, take one out, pop our resistors back in the box and then we need to connect it between one leg of the tilt switch and also to ground. So I'm just going to put that in here and now we need to connect it to ground. So I'm going to take another jumper and I'm going to pop it into ground like that. And now I'm going to take another jumper and connect it to our pin 6 which will be a digital input. So I'm going to put it into pin six. There we go. So the register select pin uh, controls where the characters are going to go on the screen. And the read and write pin puts the screen in read or write mode. Talking of screen, we have our shiny LCD here. So I'm just going to take that out of the box. Very undramatic unboxing. Uh, in the box, the LCD screen itself, with a peel. Let me just zoom in and get that peel for you. Okay, 
semi-satisfying. We also have a set of pins in foam. So I can pull the foam off now. Might need to put that back on later if I'm putting it away. And there you should be able to see the pins of the LCD screen. So I'm going to just zoom back out for you so you can see what's going on. There you go. Uh, now I'm going to put the LCD screen into our breadboard and I'm going to start with line 15 in the I column as suggested on the diagram. So uh, the read or write pin puts the screen in read or write mode. We'll be using the write mode. Uh, the enable pin tells the LCD it will be receiving a command. The data pins are used to send character data to the screen. Uh, we'll only be using four of these, uh, D4 to D7. Uh, and finally, there's a connection for adjusting the contrast of the display, which we will be using a potentiometer to do. So uh, the LCD library that comes with the Arduino software handles all the writing to the pins and simplifies the process of writing software to display characters. And um, I'm reading from the book here, which is the Arduino official projects book comes with the start kit. The two outside pins of the LCD, VSS and LED- will need to be connected to ground. Also, we will be connecting the read and write pin to ground. This will place the screen in write mode. The LCD power supply should connect directly to 5 volt. The LED plus pin on the screen connects to power through a 220 ohm resistor. So I am now going to start connecting all the wires from the LCD panel and I will see you in a minute. So I have a uh, 220 ohm resistor here and I am going to connect the pin to uh, ground to power via the resistor. This is the LED plus pin by the way. I'm now going to connect digital pin 2 to the next pin along on the LCD and this is the D7 pin of the LCD. I'm then going to connect digital pin 3 to the D6 of the LCD which again is the next pin along. And then I'm going to connect the digital pin 4 to LCD D5, which again, next pin along. As you can see, we are really filling up the Arduino I.O. header here. Uh, then we're going to connect digital pin 5 to LCD D4. And what these will do is these are the data pins that will send all the data to the display. Okay, now we are going to connect EN on the screen to pin 11 on the Arduino uh, and that will let us write to the LCD. D 
Then we're going to connect RS on the LCD to pin 12. We're then going to connect another of the pins to ground. And now we're going to sort out the potentiometer. Um, so this will actually let us change the contrast of the screen. And I'm going to place it around about... Okay, so with the potentiometer, I'm now going to connect one of the end pins to power, like this. Sorry if my Arduino is a cluster of wires and you can't see anything. I will uh, put in the description some links to some uh, wiring diagrams and to the starter kit and book that I used for this project. And I'm going to connect the other end to ground. So let's put that in there and hop it over to one of our grounds actually i'm going to swap out that cable because that is far too long And for the centre pin of the potentiometer, I'm actually going to connect to the LCD. And that will let us change the contrast of the screen. Uh, finally, I'm going to do one more power and ground connection. At the bottom, just for other parts of the LCD that will need power. And that should now be everything connected up to the Arduino. So I know that has not been very clear. Um, and I know that my workspace is now incredibly messy. But I have here got the finished circuit. And I will take you for a bit of a tour. So we have got the Arduino here. Uh, we've got power and ground here and then all the data along this side of the Arduino. We've then got our LCD here, our tilt switches here, our potentiometer just here, give it a little turn. And we've got our jumper wires in a kind of mess over there with a load of resistors and jumper wires and all sorts. So now I think we're going to go up to the computer get the Arduino plugged in and we will put the code on and see what happens. Okay, so I've got the project here. I've just built it and let's hook it up to the Tram Crazy PC. Uh, if you haven't seen the specs of the Tram Crazy PC, then have a look at one of my most recent videos. Oh yes, Alex draws the staple of every setup 
So we're just going to stick it in the top there and we will get some coding done. I will see you on my screen and I'll be showing you how we're going to connect it all up and get the software done. See you then. Well, here I am on my Arduino IDE. I will just show you the setup I have with the project on my right. Okay, so we're going to get coding. The code for this is available in the file examples starter kit basic kit 11 crystal ball so we're just going to open that up uh, you could type it in yourself which would probably help you a bit more but for today's video we're just going to open the code up and do things that way okay so i've got the crystal ball part um, so I've got the crystal ball list open and it's showing us all the same code that's in the book, which is really good. So now I'm going to try loading it onto the Arduino and we will see what happens. Okay, so I've uploaded it to my Arduino and you should be able to see that here we have ask the crystal ball on the screen. So all we have to do now is shake the Arduino and then we will get a randomized answer to our question. So I'll just pick it up. The ball says, certainly. Outlook good. Yes. Is the Tram Crazy YouTube channel the best Tram Crazy YouTube channel and YouTube channel in general, to be honest? The ball says Outlook good. That means you should definitely subscribe. Now, I'm just going to have a play around with the code, make a few of my own tweaks, and I'll show you what I've done in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to upload my new updated sketch. I've put in a few different answers. Okay, it's uploaded. So it says, ask the crystal ball. Let's see what the crystal ball says. Uh, which YouTube channel should I subscribe to? Sub to Tram Crazy? How can I have an amazing life? Sub to Tram Crazy? What should I be doing right now? Sub to Tram Crazy? Wow, well, I mean, the crystal ball never lies. 